The swiftest strike against darkness can only come from the darkness itself. And a little attitude doesn't hurt either. In ages past, heroes defeated the Dark Elf Matriarch to save Ancaria. Her son Zane swore revenge because he wanted to kill her first. He brought war to the lands in search of the legendary artifact, the Heart of Ancaria. Once he almost succeeded in reaching the Heart, but was ultimately foiled at the Seraphim Citadel. So he swore revenge again and turned Ancaria into his personal outhouse for a century. But when all hope seemed lost, a wanderer returned to the Seraphim. Sister Telari, oldest of the Seraphim, but don't tell her I said that, returned from a mysterious journey bearing blessings from the gods, new allies for the battles ahead, and an omen, Arya, the first child of immortal parents, and a gift for the struggle ahead. For the gods had blessed Arya with telepathic powers so potent she can predict her mother's dinner plans three days in advance. She's that good. Knowing that the Seraphim could not defeat Zane alone, Sister Telari formed a plan to gather the greatest warriors of all the peoples of Ancaria. In time, the call is answered. The fiery Safiri sail forth from their islands, axes in hand. Ancarian rangers cast off their cloaks and rush with their spears into battle. The Kukuri archers, whose arrows darken the skies, depart their mountains. Even the Holy Seraphim return to the world to strike down the Ashen Empire. And from unknowable realms come the Malachim and their mysterious powers of blood and darkness. Together they would strive to defend the defenseless, save the unsaved, and put an end to Zane's unending quest for vengeance once and for all. At Talari's insistence, Arya would guide and support them from a safe distance. The situation is dire. Emperor Zane seeks to slake his thirst for revenge with the heart of Ancaria in the city of Helios. A small group of heroes must thus stand against an entire empire. The time for resistance is now! <laughs> <laughs>